All right, Off Grid Stores here back with another video. In this video, we will go over fusing a solar system that has things set up in parallel. So I mentioned this at the end of the parallel video that I made. And if you haven't seen that video, be sure to look up above because that is pretty much a prerequisite. And you really only need to fuse strings that are set up in parallel with these fuses. So before we get into it, please be sure to smash the like button. Let's get this out to as many people as possible that are solar enthusiasts and it really helps grow the channel. Also, if you do wanna see more videos like this that we put out, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell notification in order to get notified every single time we post one like this. So without further ado, let's get into it. So pretty much the National Electric Code says that you need to fuse a parallel array or a solar array if the short circuit voltage is higher than the maximum series fuse rating of the panel. So this could be interesting because a lot of panels out there do have a 15 amp maximum series fuse rating. But this one, it used to have 15 from Rich Solar, the RS-M100, and all the items that we have in this video, again, will be linked down below. And also we do have a 10% off coupon on our store. For anybody that is a first time customer, that's 10% off now. We'll have that down in the description down below. So as you can see right here, the short circuit current of this panel is 5.78 amps. Excuse the gloves, it's cold. And this one's the same, so it's 5.78 amps. And you know that if we connect two panels in parallel, we are not adding together the voltage or the open circuit voltage, we are adding together the short circuit current. So what is 5.78 times two? It is 11.56 exactly. So 11.56 is technically higher than 10 amps so we would need to fuse this array if it was in parallel again you could just set it up in series and avoid all this that's why we always say that series is easier if you can get away with it because you need less components not only do you not need these parallel connectors you also don't need fuses in this setup if you were to just go straight series because if it was series it would be 5.78 amps total short circuit current which is lower than 10 so you're good to go. So pretty much what this says is that this panel can handle 10 amps going through it before something could go wrong. So in order to not get 10 amps to go through it, you're gonna to wanna to set up fuses in order to make sure that 10 amps don't go through it. So you're going to wanna use a fuse that is the same size as the maximum series fuse rating. So 10 amps, you would wanna use a 10 amp fuse, which I don't have. Right now, I only have 15 amp fuses for the purpose of this video. I, I thought that these panels were 15 amps maximum series fuse rating, which they used to be, but they changed. So let's just pretend for the sake of this video that this is a 10 amp fuse. So what is an inline fuse? We have it right here. Pretty much you can unscrew it. And then if we look, it's just this that's inside of it. It doesn't really matter which way it goes in, but for the sake of you doing everything correctly, just don't open it. I mean, or open it and then put it back in the same way it came in. So pretty much all you would do is screw this top on it. And again, they're MC4 connectors, so everything connects together perfectly. So let me show you how you would do it or where you would do it. Technically on this, if we had them both in parallel, then we would need to fuse this system in order to protect the panels. So let me put these in parallel and then I'll show you where you would wanna connect the fuses. All right, so we have these two panels connected in parallel as you can see. And usually one thing I did want to say is that this does happen a lot more if you have more than two strings. Technically, you do need to fuse this string or this parallel, you know, string of panels. But in reality, if you have three and four, this is when you're going to want to be doing it because say that you had four of these in parallel, you know, you're upwards of 20 amps short circuit current. And that's where it's much higher than the 10 amps. And, you know, you're really going to cause a problem if there is a short. Again, one thing is that there's really not that many shorts in solar panels. You know, malfunctions don't really happen that often, and if they do, the panel will usually still continue to work. But you know, this is just to make sure everything is safe. So right now, I have the negatives in my hand, and we're not going to touch the negatives. We're going to want to deal with the positives here. And I did accidentally connect them together. So basically, you're going to be putting this fuse in between right before the parallel connector. So pretty much what it's gonna do is take the spot right here and take the spot right here, and you're gonna be good to go. So let me put together the fuses and then we'll get back to it. 
So this is what the parallel connector will look like with the two fuses connected into it. You're gonna need a fuse on every single panel that's coming in on the positive side before the connector. So if you had three, then you just put another fuse right there, four, another one right there. You know, you'd have it that way. So pretty much with anything MC4, as I've said, everything clicks together, works together perfectly. And then all you really need to do is then connect the positives into this, which I'll put down in the camera and show. So here we are back. We got the two positives connected into the fuse. Pretend that these are 10 amps because that's what they're supposed to be, not 15. Pretty much you could just change it, get it a new fuse. These are pretty much just interchangeable fuse holders. So you just get different fuses and put them in there. And then coming out is going to be you know, where you would connect your extender cables, something to a solar generator or whatever setup you really have. Do you technically need these? Say that this panel right here shorts out and then we have five point, what is it again? Seven, eight amps running. And then it's gonna go through here because it's the path of least resistance instead of going down here into the solar generator or whatever. It'll come back up here and you'll have 5.78 amps running into this. Added together with the 5.78 amps of this panel, again, you're gonna be at 11 point, what was it, five, six amps in total. One thing is, is this is only a 10 amp fuse. It's probably not gonna trip if there's only five, there's only, it's not gonna trip, there's only 5.78 coming in here. So on two panels in parallel, again, it, it's, it's up to you. I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but it's really just kind of a redundancy. It's something extra as a fail safe, even though these panels do have diodes in them that don't let anything like this happen. Again, it's just extra safety precaution. But say that we had three. So we had 5.78, 5.78, and then 5.78. Say that this one shorts out, and then we have 11.6 from the two. Say we have another one right here. 5.78, 5.78, 11.56 going in, and then up into this panel. 11.56 is going to trip this 10 amp fuse. And that's what is really this whole you know, safety precaution is about. So again, on this setup with just two, it's really not going to do much. But if we add three, let me put it down just to show you. This is just for the sake of kind of a visual. Say that there was another fuse right here, a 10 amp fuse. And then this one shorted out, this panel over here shorted out. Then you'd have 11.56 amps coming from this one and this one going into this fuse, which is a 10 amp fuse for the sake of this video, and it will blow the fuse and then nothing will go through to this panel and we won't have anything overheating or causing a big fuss. So that's pretty much the safety precautions that you need when fusing a solar panel array that is in parallel. And that's why I usually suggest everything to be in series as often as you can and not to actually put anything in parallel unless you have to. Again, let's say that you have an EcoFlow Delta Max and it's max input of solar is 800 watts. And if you do all the math on these, you're gonna realize that in order to get 800 watts, you need to do four in series, four in series, and those two in parallel. At that point, would you wanna fuse it? For the sake of the code, yes. E yes, you wanna do it. I don't wanna say that you don't wanna do it. And that's pretty much that. So hopefully this video wasn't too confusing. Usually this will only come into play as where you'll be able to actually trip the fuse and save everything in the system if you have three strings in parallel pretty much one of the only times it'll actually, you know, cause the fuse to blow. And that's that. But for the sake of the code, if you have two in parallel, you should actually be doing this. And I'll leave it up to you to choose what you want to do. So again, everything in this video is going to be in the link down below the fuses, the inline fuses, the solar panel parallel connectors, these solar panels, the RS M 100s. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Again, hit the like button. Let's get this out to as many people as possible. Subscribe if you found this video helpful and turn on your bell notification if you wanna see more videos like this as we post them in the future. Thank you.